All right, and now you can, I'm gonna give you back. Can you raise your hand on the one you wanted to share? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I did. All right, there we go. Awesome. <clears throat> All right, man, there you go. Go ahead, bro. Okay, um, we're gonna charge like around $10 or something like that for the video, right? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, well, guys, my name is Luis Rodriguez. Um, as you mentioned before, um, I've just been in this country for five years. I'm from Venezuela. I don't know if there's any Venezuelan uh, people in the house, but well, um, I've just been in this country for five years. Um, just to start, when it got when it got here, I didn't speak any any English. So if you hear any accent, any bad word, you know I didn't I didn't mean to say that. So I feel <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, when it got here, I came here with my mom. Well, my mom got here before, like two months before me, and then I got here. And you know, I um, it was fear when we got here. You know, we feel something, some, something weird because it was a new country, new language. You know, it was dollars. I remember that I didn't know how to pay with dollars. I mean, it was my first time paying with, uh, with dollars. And then, you know what? But today, we see that it was the best decision that we ever took. Even in the beginning, it didn't look like it. didn't look like that. We didn't, we didn't do any research about United States. So when sometimes you do a presentation, <clears throat> a KT, and someone say, oh, let me do a research. <clears throat> We moved from Venezuela to United States. We didn't do any research because we knew that United States can provide me, could provide me, provide my family something better than my country in that moment. So this is the, I mean, this is something not in that, I mean, in that area, I mean, of moving to another country, but in all of the areas in our life. Primary it's an opportunity that when it hits, that you can see, even if you're not sure, even if you're struggling, it's going to be better. It's going to give you something better than what you do right now at any job, nine to five job. So I just want to start um, with the um, presentation. <clears throat> and, oh, I think you, I'm not a host yet, Edward. Yeah, no, okay. So um, I'm gonna do the presentation and at the end, you know, I mean, if Edward, I mean, if you would like, you know, to make some questions, um, it's fine. I'm not gonna charge for any question. <clears throat> okay. So um, this is me and my mom. She's not my girlfriend. Don't think that she's my girlfriend, my wife. I have no wife, I have no girlfriend yet. My girlfriend is Primerica. And then she's my mom. We do the business together. <clears throat> as, I, as, as I mentioned before, we've been in business for three years. Um, and you know, I always need to say that she's my mom because people think that she's my girlfriend. When I post a picture on Instagram, I need to, I need to put on title, my mom. Because always, I mean, people are always text me, oh, your girlfriend looks good and good, but I know, well, she's, she's young, I have to say, because I think she's listening to me. Um, so this is me. When it, got in, when it got in this country, oh, wow, the American dream. I'm going you know, to live in Miami, and that's the real life. But then at the, at the age of 16 years old, my first job was construction. That's me. Yeah, that's me. And you know, when I, when I always say that, that, I, that I used to work in construction, people say, oh, but you know what, that's a no, good job and, and everything. But I mean, being there under the sun from seven o'clock in the, in, in the morning until eight, eight o'clock, um, eight o'clock, seven o'clock, the whole day with the stop and the slow sign. That's it, that was my job. Because of the traffic, that's what I had to do. So I was 16 years old. I was making around $700 a week. I felt super good. I was feeling super, super good, but guess what? One day I, I, I was thinking and I say, okay, right now I'm 16 years old, but what about when I'm 25? What about when I'm 30, 35 years old? I'm not gonna have the same strength that I have right now. I, I'm not gonna do this. So I say, is this the right thing that I'm doing right now? Then I start my, uh, um, then I went to high school, start high school, my junior year, and then, you know, I had to, um, to get a part-time job. And then I went, I don't know if you guys know True Romania, which is the fried churros with the, you know, with the guava, cream cheese, dulce leche. Well, um, I used to work that, uh, there. And then that's me. That was my job. And, you know, I spent, I spent like, an, like a year working there. And I was doing everything. I was the only guy working because it was inside of a Walmart. And then, you know, like, it, I mean, not, not, um, not a lot of people knows the place that I used to work at. And then, you know, we didn't have a lot of people coming in. So I have, I have to be in front desk and then on the back doing all of the shakes, uh, meal shakes, coffee, and I had to be on the front. But that was something that um, I learned. What I learned, it's that you got to take responsibilities of everything. You know, I mean, for example, in Primerica, 
um, you know, I'm a, um, my mom started before me. She started like, like three months or something. And then I was the partner. But I know that in Primerica, you know, there's partner and partnership and everything. But I, um, when I started Primerica, I, I, I told my mom, you know what? I don't want to be that partner who's on backstage, you know, doing the, the licensee, the, the, the pending business and everything. I also want to be on field. Because if I did that on Two Romania, on the, on the restaurant that I used to work at, how, how I mean, um, it's impossible not to do it in Primerica. You know, it's my business. If I did it for someone else's businesses, I mean, I can do it for myself. So that's why I start Primerica. And then, you know, just to tell you guys today, I mean, um, today, 2020, you know, we, since the beginning, you know, we are both in, on, on, in field. And then, you know, I mean, about licensing and, and, and pending business, we do half and half. We have office managers, but we also have, uh, we do half and half. Um, so here's no partners. She's not my, I mean, you know, we're partners, but I mean, we're both on, 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 on field. Um, that's me on construction. Um, and you know, it's funny the picture. I know Edward, she's gonna, I mean, he's gonna, he's gonna take some, some screenshots and everything, but you know what? I remember that day when I took the picture and I said, one day I'm gonna put in a huge presentation for a hundred people. And today uh, we can see there's more than 125 people. But I remember, I remember that day when I said, okay, you know what? One day, I, I don't know when, I don't know how, one day, I mean, someone's gonna see this picture from a huge screen. And it's happening right now, you know? So, and I didn't, and I didn't know anything about Primerica. I was only 16 years old, I, I think, 16 or 17. So, um, so that was the convention. I started Primerica, you know, on May, on 2017. I went to the convention. Um, I was super loose. I didn't know what to do. Um, the, the day before we went to the convention, 2017 convention, guess what? I failed my, my life insurance test four times. Four times. And then, for example, today, I did my test and then tomorrow we were leaving to the convention. So I said, okay, oh my God, let me, let me, um, I told my mom, I remember I told my, my mom told me, Luis, you know what? We're not gonna pay the rent this week because I bought, um, you know, I bought the tickets for, for Indianapolis to go to the convention. And then, you know, we're gonna pay the rent in two weeks. So let's call the owner, help me. Let's call the owner and, let, and, and, and tell him that. And I say, mom, you're wasting your money to buy all of the, you know, the hotel and the, and the, and the, and the flight because I didn't pass the test. So don't waste your money. And then sure, I mean, I felt, I felt super, super bad because I felt the test four times. I say, how? I mean, I just, I just graduated from high school. You know, I'm supposed to pass that test in the first time, but I wasn't serious. I wasn't, I didn't take this serious, you know, in the, since the beginning. So I went to the convention, I was super happy. You know, um, so, uh, I saw a lot of people doing the, the finger. I was doing like this, like the peace and love app sign. <laughs> it was, you know, I was brand new. I was new in the, in, in, in the business, but that was the best decision, decision that my, my mom ever, you know, took for me. Because that convention, when I actually come back, came back from the convention, I didn't study for the test. I said, you know what? I already know what I have to do. I need to focus on the test because I want it so bad. I want this business so bad because of the convention. So I said, okay, let me just, let me just, um, give me one second, guys. Okay. So I, okay, got it. Thank you, bro. So I said, okay, let me just go back to Miami and then boom, I'm going to pass the test. Then what happened? I passed my test and I have a video. I have my video, like no one, I think some, like a friend just saw it. I have a video that I record my car driving to the test center and I was screaming. I was saying, you know what? I'm going to pass this test. I'm going to be a millionaire and then I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it and, 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 and I'm going to do it. And I was super excited because it's sometimes it's all about the way you think. Sometimes it's about what you're, what you're thinking right now. And you know what? I mean, my, my, all, uh, my, my investment licenses, I pass it because of the mentality. I mean, the, the, the mental thoughts that, that I, you know, that, that you're going to develop in business. Everything, what happens to you, you know, 95, 90%, uh, 10% represents, you know, what happened to you, just the 10%. But 90%, it is about how you react to it. What are you going to do with what happened to you? And I say, when I passed the test, you know, I, uh, I, I said, okay, my life is changing because I remember I just graduated from high school like a month ago, you know, um, before I passed my test. And I feel super frustrated because I, I, I told myself, I look in the mirror and, and I say, okay, what am I gonna do now? What am I gonna do? I already graduated from high school, but I have no money to pay for a career. I, don't have, I have no money to pay a college. And I didn't have my documents 
you know, um, the status in this country to apply for, 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 for financial aid. So I say, you know what? I mean, if university or college is not the option right now, so let's, let's take this university, this money university for my life. And then that's why when I took the decision to pass the test, and you know what? One tip and something that helped me, it was that I always show up to all of the trainings. That's, yeah, that's my face. I was super, it was boring. It was boring. I hate, I hate every minute of training. I, I, I was telling, that, that's my mom. Uh, I was telling my mom, mom, I, I don't want to be here. Oh my God, this is so boring. And you know, all of the financial seminars and everything. And I told my mom, I, I want to leave. And then you guys know that on Tuesday, we have a training from seven o'clock until 8, 8, 30, um, 8 30 p.m. And then we have a Navy, so, which is uh, start at 10 o'clock until midnight. And my mom, she had, um, she had um, her car and I, have, and I had my own car. And, and you know what, mom, at 10 o'clock, I was gonna leave. And then she did, she got my keys. And then I never, I never miss any Navy, Navy suit, even that I didn't want it to be there. So sometimes when you don't want to be on training, you gotta be there, you better be there. Because this, that's discipline. When you do what you're supposed to do at the moment that you're supposed to do it, even if you don't wanna do it. Remember, even if you don't wanna do it, that's discipline. Otherwise. I mean, it's motivation. That's it. That's it. So I always show up to all of the training. And I'm telling you this guy because I know, I don't know if there, you know, probably we have new people in, 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 in Zoom right now, uh, brands, I mean, district leader and something like that. And let me tell you, the mentality, I mean, the way that I think right now, it wasn't the same way that I, that I was thinking when I started Primerica. But I'm telling you, one of the keys that it helped me in order to, you know, to reach the level that, I, that I'm right here, that I'm right here. Because when you start the business, you know, you don't start talking like, oh, I'm going to do it and this and this and, and you know, like, like, like hold. But I mean, if you stay, if you show up to every single meeting, you're going to start break, uh, um, washing, you know, your, your, your brain. You know, so um, that's, um, that's one of my keys. And that's what I always say, what I always tell my people, hey, show up to training, go, go. So. Um, this, I always say that every success story has a beginning story. And when you see someone, when you see Edward, when you see all of your RBPs, when you see a, a Luis Rodriguez here, you see, okay, he's, he's, you know, that's lucky. That's good luck. And then, you know, because you're, you know, you know me since this moment, but we have a group chat, um, on WhatsApp, you know, we're Latino. So I don't know if you guys use WhatsApp, but we do. And then, um, we have a group chat. And I remember my mom, um, that was actually three years ago, like two years and 10 months ago. My mom, you know, she's Hispanic. I mean, with all of the tambores and, 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 and everything. And she said, congratulations to Luis Alejandro Rodriguez, my son that just recruited. And Diana Macias, as you can see right here, congratulations to Luis Alejandro Rodriguez that just became our new district leader. Proud of you. Guys, that was three years ago. How many districts did you guys develop last month? A lot, a lot of district leader. There's, I, I guess, I, I know that in this meeting, we have a lot of district leaders. So if you're a district leader, look, look, I was a district leader too. I was a division leader. I was a regional leader. I was a senior regional leader. And now I'm a, I'm a regional vice president. So it's not about the person. It's not about because he's Venezuelan. It's not about because he doesn't speak English. It's, it, it, it's not about because he's from William Lorena and our own hierarchy. No, I'm always receiving texts from people on Instagram that, that, that they tell me, Hey, send me the, the, the 90 day challenge um, code and send me this and this. And oh my God, I wish that I wanted to be, uh, you know, with, with you guys in, in, in our own hierarchy. <clears throat> if I'm with you guys, you know, I could be um, um, an RVP. And I, and I say, no, it's not about the hierarchy. Yeah, sometimes it does. But you know what? Even at the own hierarchy, we have people who, do, who doesn't do anything. We have people who they can see a lot of, uh, they have examples and they still, and they still don't do anything. So sometimes it's not about the, you know, the people, I mean, the hierarchy, it's all about you. How bad do you want it? When I started Primerica, I didn't know how big was <clears throat> Will and Lorena hierarchy and Miguel Illich, I didn't know anything. And I, and you know what, in the beginning, I didn't care. I didn't care, I just care about myself because I said, okay, I need to do this, how am I gonna do it? But it's all about a decision. You know, I always, re you know, I, the same thing as you guys, I recruit people, people quit, people stay. It's not about the hierarchy. It's all about you. So, I mean, I just want you, I mean, I just want district leader or division leader, see this picture. 
Luis, you know, doing um, his presentation, you know, for the first time, that was my first presentation. You know, I mean, with someone older than me, there's a lot of people who always say, oh, Luis, you know what, you're 21 years old. I mean, I want you to, to do, a, uh, can you help me in a, in, a, in a presentation? I have my son who's 12 years old and I, and, and I want you to do the presentation for my 12 years old guy. And I say, you know what? I, I'm not a motive. I mean, I'm, I can't motivate people. What I can do is teach people how, more, I mean, how to make money how to produce money, and that's it. And when they make money, they're gonna be motivated. That's it. So that's part of because I know, I don't know if we have people, young people in, in the room, well, you know, beside um, uh, Edward, uh, you know, they always said, okay, because you're done, let me talk to, the, talk to this guy. Guys, it's all about, it's all about, um, 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 it's not about the age, it's about what you inspire it, what you say, it, the emotion. So, um, you know, I'm telling you, every, you know, success story has a beginning. You know, I'm, I'm not in the position that I, that I want to, to be at in this moment, obviously, because, we, you know, we're always growing and we want more. But I'm super thankful to, you know, to, to the point that I'm right now. Because if you enjoy it and, you, and if you're grateful with every level that you reach, boom, you're going to go to the next one. You're going to go to the next one. So, you know, we start going, going to the trips, our first trip was um, um, Hawaii, we went to Hawaii. You know, that was a dream, dream trip. I remember in Venezuela, you know, all of the series and movies from Hawaii and I said, wow, I mean, that's gonna be expensive, a trip. And then that was our first trip. We never, we haven't missed any Primerica trip since we started Primerica. Then um, we went to then South Beach. We won the Dominican Republic. We couldn't go because visa status. Then we won the um, Bahamas trip, we couldn't go. We won the Broadmoor, we couldn't go. <laughs> and then we're, I know we're just gonna win um, um, Orlando. So, you know, you, you, you went to a trip, you feel motivated and everything. And when you come back, you know, on, back in 2019, um, I passed my SI license, you know? I mean, that license, you see the face, super happy and everything. You can say, okay, Luis, I mean, that was, you know, that was God, and I know it was God. But let me tell you, I cried. I, you know, I had fights with my mom because I remember my mom was telling me, you need to study because I, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a field guide. I mean, I'm, I'm always on the field. And then she was telling me, you going to an appointment today? You have the test in two days. You have the test in one day. And I was fighting with her. You know, we have so many problems because of that. And I say, wow, at least we have these kind of problems and we don't have, and, and this kind of conversation, and we don't have drugs conversation and all of that. So I say, you know what, um, mom, let me just do what I'm doing, what I'm doing, and that's it. But it was, I mean, I paid a price. I paid a price. I always, I remember, I went to my office. I went to the office like at, uh, at 11 o'clock, 11 in, um, in 11 night, because, you know, I mean, um, I was done with appointments. And I went into my office to study, and I left the office at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. and I went back to home and then I wake up at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning to start the day and then I went to the office at 11 o'clock, 11 p.m. and then until 2 a.m., 3 a.m. And I was, I, I remember before I study, I was, you know, I closed my, I, I was closing my eyes and I say, okay, the moment that I, when it passed, the moment when it passed, the moment when it passed and then I, I start crying. I cry every single day. Yeah, like a little baby. So um, then when I passed the series, the SI license, I'm sorry, we had a magic conversation with um, uh, Edward Crush, uh, my RVP, Diana Macias. And then I remember we went to Weston and then she, she told me, she told my mom, guys, this is, where you, this is where you are right now. And this is where you need to go and what you need to do, like an FNA, but in, you know, to the RVP contract. We were, you know, we were having um, issue with, uh, with the personal production, you know, as a, re as a senior regional leader, we were doing over 40 by 40, 50 by 50. Our highest number, I think it was 80, 80 recruits um, and 60,000 in, in, in premiums. But it was because of the team, all of us, you know, and I was helping them. But I mean, our personal production, you know, we, were, we weren't good at all. And, and then she said, okay, personal production licenses, I mean, grow licenses, and that's it. And what you focus, um, you grow on what you focus on. So that was on April, and then we we went, um, we got promoted on November. So it was like five, six months or something like that. Um, when I went, when I walk out of out of the restaurant, you know, I feel something, you know, my on on my like a movie on my on my face, like a, a air fresh fresh air, 
and I say, you know what, mom, we're gonna kill it. We're gonna get promoted to RVP as soon as possible. We're gonna grow that personal production, the personal recruits, and then we're gonna have more licenses. I think we had um like like 60 or seven, I don't remember licenses. We got promoted to RVP with 110 licenses. Um, we left a replacement of um, 70, 80, 80 licenses, I think, because we went to RVP, to RVP with 30 licenses. So, um, you know, and the start, the RVP, the RVP, um, the RVP run and start, you know, when you're super excited, that was me on the, on the RVP run. I was super, super tired. I remember, um, you know, I was living in the car like for 10, 20 minutes or something like that, but I never went to home. To home. I never went back to home to, to sleep or something. We never took any off day. So, you know, when you're doing all of that, when you're getting all of your licenses, when you have the numbers, when you grow, you know, when you're growing, when, you, when your team is on fire and everything, us back on May, oh, I didn't put the picture. Okay, so on May, then I passed my, my uh, Series 6 license. Um, but, you know, we were, we were about to get promoted on May, June last year. And then I remember a month and May, I think it was, my mom, she started feeling a little bit bad. And then she said, Luis, you know what? I need to go to the hospital tomorrow when we close month because I feel super bad and I, I don't know what to do. And I said, okay, mom, go. And it was a Wednesday. And then I remember she went to the hospital and you know when adversity, adversity equals opportunity. When adversity hits, it's when it's time to get stronger. And you know what? I remember she went to the hospital um, on Wednesday and I couldn't go. I couldn't go on uh, She stayed the whole night, the whole day. I couldn't go because I was doing an appointment. And the, the next day on, on, on Thursday, um, I was driving um, to the hospital and I say, mom, I'm going to go today if I close a transaction. If I close something today, I'm going to go. If I don't close anything, mm -mm, you're not going to see me. So you better wish me, you know, good luck or you send me appointments. So I went out. I closed something I, and I went to the hospital at 3, uh, 3 p.m. And already, like, I remember that day I closed two max premium at the office and I said, boom, I'm out of it. I need to go to the hospital. When I was driving there, Diana Macias called me. She was at the hospital with my mom and she said, hey, champion of the champions. Hey, hey coach, um, you know, I was driving on the turnpike. It was raining and my mom and Diana told me, Luis, you know what? Um, um, we already know what your mom has. And then she, has, um, she was found with a cancer, lymphoma cancer. And then I remember, I just remember when she told me that, I dropped my phone, I stopped in the, in the middle of the, of the torn pine, it was raining. And then I, I literally started crying and crying and I was saying, God, why? I already have my investment license. We already have the production. We, are, we already have the cash flow. I mean, we already have the team. We have everything. Why is this happening? We are about to get promoted to RVP. Why? So I remember I, we went to the hospital. That's my mom, that's me, that's my sister next to my mom. And, and you know what, uh, when, we went, when I went to the hospital, the only words that I remember she said um, to me and, and, and Diana and my uplands, which is Fatima and Raynell, they're senior regional leaders, they're, they're about to get promoted to RVP, the, the, uh, the people who recruit me, who recruit my mom and I. And my mom told them, hey guys, the only thing that I'm gonna ask you guys, it's just help my son to get his RVP contract. And I, boom, that was, <laughs> I started crying and it was hard. And it was hard that day. I mean, the following, I mean, two days, three days being in the hospital, it was hard. But you know what? Do you guys know what a temporary license is? Yeah. Do you know what a permanent license is? Yeah. You better. So I said, you know what? This is a temporary license. This is a temporary situation. The business is a permanent license. The, per the business, it's something permanent. So I said, you know what, mom? I'm not gonna cry it anymore. I need to get ready and I need to take this business to the next level. We need to get promoted to RBP. We're gonna do it. And I left, I remember I left, I left the, the hospital and I said, you know what, sister, I need you to stay here with, with my mom. I told my uncle, I need you guys to stay here with my mom because I'm gonna be in charge of the house, like a, like a, like a man. And then I remember I went out and you know what? I mean, my mom, she started feeling the, um, she started getting the chemotherapy and everything and all of that. We were super happy. And every single day I, I saw my mom, I went to the hospital every single day. But if I close something, I told my, I told myself, Hey Luis, if you close something today, you're going to see your mom. You're going to go to the hospital. Otherwise you're not going. Guess what? Every single day I was closing. I was closing. We broke our, our, our cash flow as a regional leader for the first time. On June, that was um, on July, 
when she was receiving chemo, 8,339. Do you think that my mom is gonna feel bad at the hospital making uh, more than 8,000 a month? Do you, do you think that she's gonna be uh, worried about how we're gonna pay the rent, how we're gonna pay the car, how we're gonna pay the insurance? So don't tell me not, my money is not, is not everything. I know it's not everything, but you can do a lot with it. You can do a lot with it. People say, oh, money, money brings problems. I know sometimes, but I mean, not, I mean, having no money brings a lot of more problems. So you, de you decided what, which kind of problems you want to have with money or without money. I think with money, you can solve, you know, a little bit more. So guys, um, you know, then we went to the convention that was in June. I mean, you know, having my mom receiving chemotherapy and look at my face, I was there, but it was a dream for us because when we went to the convention back in 2017, I told my mom, we're going to be here. We're going to be here next convention. And, you know, it was, she was on video call. Um, the hierarchy didn't know anything. Just Lorena, Willie, Miguel, and Diana in my Oblens, which is Fatima and Reynel um, next to me. Um, he's Cuban and, and, and she's from Venezuela. Um, you know, I was super happy. And I remember one of a million dollar earning, I, I think it was, yeah, I am Prochner. He, he came to me and he said, wow, man, you, your energy is super, I mean, it's amazing. I want you to come over um, tonight to talk, um, you know, to speak to the whole team. And I did that and I told him, hey, I, you know what? I'm passing through a really, really tough um, situation right now. My mom, you know, she's, she has cancer. And then I realized what I just told you in the beginning. 10% it's what happened to you and 90% how you react to it. Guys, don't take this, don't play with this opportunity. Don't come to me, don't come to me and, and tell me, oh, Luz, you know what? I cannot be today on Zoom because I feel bad. I feel, I feel um, I'm feeling lazy today. I have no energy to do it today. <laughs> Are you playing with Primerica? Are you playing with Primerica? So, you know what? After adversity, you know, there's something huge better. There's some, something huge better. It's time to grow. That's when it's time to grow and we need it to grow, guys. And you know what? The mentality that I had, it was because of all of the trainings. That's why I told you in the beginning, don't miss any training. Because, you know, when you're driving and when you remember all of the trainings, you know, I was saying, okay, never give up. And this and, and, and Bob Proctor and all of the, you know, all of the videos that Miguel is, only, is always running on, on, the, on the trainings. And that's why, because you never know why you're doing Primerica. Guys, if my, my mom recruited me, if I wouldn't do anything, if, I, if in the beginning I told my mom, mom, you know what, I'm not gonna do this thing, you know what? And back in 2019, I wouldn't be able to help my mom the way that I did. I wouldn't be able to help my family the way that I did. And I'm not saying I'm a hero, but I'm saying that the decision that, you, that, you, that every decision that you're, gonna, that you're about to take, it's gonna be for you, but think about the people that are behind you. Because when someone say, you know what, I'm not going to do it, I say, because I don't like it, I say, what about the people that are behind you, that are coming from you? I mean, don't think it's only for you. Because working at, at True Romania, the, at the place that I used to work at, making $1,000 a month, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be able to help my mom. And I remember I went to the hospital and I was telling my mom, you know what, and you go, go out of this and go to the shopping, go and do whatever you want. And she was really, really relaxed with money. We didn't have any financial problem during um for the you know for this uh, those three four months that she the, the, i mean for the process of the chemotherapy it was like four months five months or something like that then guess what boom after all of that adversity we had willie lorena diana and miguel waiting for us to get the rvp contract and i say wow thank god that it didn't stop that month we promoted with, I think it was 50 over 50 by 50. And I say, wow, thank God we, I didn't stop. And I remember Miguel and Diana, uh, Luis, don't stop. And I went to the office. People didn't know what my mom was passing through. And people asked me, oh, how's your mom doing? doing? Oh, no, she, I think she has fever or something like that. And I was super because I couldn't say anything because people, what are people going to say? Oh, Luis, you know what? I feel so sorry for you, man. Go back. I mean, don't work this much. You know, business, you know, money is not everything. Money is not everything. The business is not everything. Your mom is more important than, than, than this business. No, you know what? I know my mom is important, but our future, it's more important than the situation that we were passing through. Because when you know that you have the, the mental toughness to say, okay, you know what? You're getting out of this. This situation is going to expire as the same thing as a perma, uh, temporary license expire. You know what? Let me keep doing with, you know, working um, um, for our future. And that's why, that's, I mean, that's it. My mom is next to my room. 
she's been, I mean, she feels so good and I'm really thankful and I'm really grateful with the opportunity that we have because I'm, I, I, was, I was able to help my mom. You don't know when you're gonna need primary care guys. Your bills, your car, your car, the water bills and everything, you can pay that with any job. But the situation that we went through, any, I mean, there's no job that, that can pay that. You don't know when you're gonna need primary care. Right now, you, you, you probably are saying, oh, you know what, I'm doing it because I like it and I like it and I'm having fun and the recognition. Guys, you never know why you're gonna need primary care. It could be like a, like a you know, uh, bad situation. It could be for something good that you want to do something and then you can't because of money. So, I mean, that was, the, that was it. Um, and you know what? This is a, an, an stop sign. I know, what do you have to do when you see something like that? I know, um, I know I'm not gonna ask Edward because I know what he's gonna say. I mean, he doesn't, I, I, I think he doesn't stop. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, he does, he does. But you know what? But you know what? I mean, when you see the stop sign, there's a lot of people who just go by. He passed the, the, the stop and he doesn't stop. And that's when, you, when you're in primary and you close a month and you do zero by zero, or you do one by one, and that's it. And you say, oh no, next month, next month, next month, hi. What happened when you, when you, when you see the stuff and you, and you don't stop? Probably the first time, nothing happened. Second time, nothing happened. But guess what? Boom. Any day, sooner or later, they're gonna stop you. In life, there's no cop, there's no police that is gonna stop you in primary America, but there are situations that are gonna put you, you know, you and yourself to think about and to ask you, Ask yourself, why I didn't do what I was supposed to do? You know, when, 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 a police, um, when someone stopped me, a police or, 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 or a cop, I said, why didn't, why, oh, oh my God, why I was driving over, over um, 70 or 80 miles an, an hour? I have, now I have this ticket. Thank God that I have prepaid legal. Um, no, I'm not, you know, don't do anything like that. Um, but I said, I mean, every situation, guys, if you just go, go by and pass by and you don't care and you say that every single month, you know, it's a new month. I always, I always hear that. Oh, um, new month and new everything, we're zero by zero. And that's, you know, excuses. Because last month already counts. I know last month, oh, numbers are already gone. But what you do every single day counts. So don't take it for granted. Because, I mean, you don't want any situation to stop you and to put yourself in a mirror to say, why well, didn't do it, man? Why? Why I was playing with Primerica? Boom, get your ticket, pay your $300, $400. You need to pay because you failed. So guys, then we reached the $50,000 in income on November when we get, to our, uh, when we get promoted to RVP. You know, this is you, Edward. This is you before adversity. But this is also you after you go over adversity. This is who you're going to become when you overcome all of those adversities. When you say, you know what, what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm going right now, what I'm passing through right now, the situation, it's temporary. When you, when you overcome that situation, when you go out of it, when you stay in business, leader, leaders stay plugged. They plug it in. They don't unplug. So, you know, this is who you're going to become. This is what coronavirus is doing right now. But think about it. Are you doing it? Are you becoming in this one? Or are you going to stay like this? I was like that before, uh, before everything. But then you're gonna become in like like this. Um, that was the graduation when we get when we got promoted to RVP. I remember, guys. I told my mom, "Mom, please don't cry because you always cry for everything." Please, oh my God, this is a huge event. We had uh, guys. We had at the office over 700 people, just for all. I mean, the graduation. And I told my mom, "Please don't cry, don't cry." And she didn't cry. Guess who cried? <laughs> Me. I cried. Guys, it was wow, an unbelievable moment that when we get promoted to RVP. Look at Miguel's uh, face. He was super. I mean, proud. You know, that's, uh, wow, man, I'm, I'm super, I'm super happy. And you know what? And I mean, one day your business can look like this. Yeah, like this. But then if you work hard, if you stay, if you plug it in, into the system, your business can look like this. That was me and my mom in the beginning. That was when we, get, when we, get promoted to, when we got promoted to RVP. Your business can look like this in the beginning, maybe. That was my first car in this country. I paid like $2,000. I feel super good. You know, going, um, I mean, on my, on my, on my high school, I was the only guy with car, you know, in, in my friends. And you know, I, 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 felt, I felt like I had a Lamborghini or something like that, you know? But when your business looked like this, you know, um, on February, yeah, March, I think, it was in March, I was able, you know, to buy my, you know, my new, <clears throat> my new car. And I know it's not, I mean, it's not in the same level uh, as Edward car, but I'm going there. <laughs> so guys, just to finish, this is a microwave. This is a microwave, right? 
when you put a um, package of, um, of popcorn inside, it takes two minutes, two minutes or three minutes. But most people play Primerica like this. They put the, the, the popcorns um, on, on the microwave and every 10 seconds, they open it. Imagine, open it. Are they ready? No, they're not. Are they ready? No, they're not. Are they ready? No, they're not. It was two minutes and they weren't ready. You didn't do popcorn because you open the microwave every single 10 seconds. But if you close the microwave and you don't open the microwave, for the same two minutes, you're gonna have, boom, popcorns. So what am I trying to tell you with this? People always say, oh no, time, it's time. Everything has their own time. Um, you know, I mean, if, if it wasn't today, maybe tomorrow, because time and time and time, and the more you say time and time and time that everything has their own time, boom, your life, or, you know, it's passing by, passing by. You can't say, it, oh, you know what? I did my popcorn, it was two minutes, but I open it like every 10 seconds. If you open it 10 seconds, obviously you're, gonna, you're not gonna have popcorns. But if you do, the, the, if you do the popcorns and you don't open the microwave, guess what? You're gonna have popcorns because you didn't open, you didn't pause, you didn't, you know, you didn't pause the, the, the system. So you need to have laser focus, no flashlight. You don't, you, don't, you don't have to be a flashlight. You know, flashlight goes to, you know, to everywhere. Oh, you know what? Millionaires have seven streams of income, blah, blah, blah. Guys, you already have Primerica. You don't have any, any opportunity right now outside of Primerica, so stop looking at others. When you, when you start looking at others' opportunity, it is because you're not doing Primerica. And if, you don't, if you're not doing Primerica, guess what? You're not gonna do any other opportunity. So, because a business, is, it's a reflection of who, who, who you are. You have faith? Ask yourself right now if you have faith. Oh yeah, I do, Luis, in God, right? Of course. But we always say that God is in everywhere. So if you have faith, why don't you apply your faith in Primerica? If God is everywhere, why? Why are you going to start, why are you looking to, uh, at another opportunities out there? You, you have faith, but apply that faith, not only on the church, not only on Sunday, apply that faith to 24 seven, because God is everywhere and he's always with you and with us. That's what we always, you know what, that we always say. So apply that. Don't think that uh, faith is only for church and on Sundays. So you gotta be a laser focused guy. Win is too easy. To win in this in this you know in this country in, in this world two weeks ago i went to an appointment on west palm beach i drove like an hour and, and 20 minutes an hour and 30 minutes i post something on, on my on my instagram like appointments and someone replied me a person that i recruit oh you gotta enjoy your life and, she, and, and he sent me the bitch and i say wow <laughs> that's why you're struggling with money right now boy and i'm and i'm, and I'm sorry i call him and i'm sorry i'm not trying to be rude but that's why you see the difference just you just need to see the difference what you're doing today and what i'm doing today you always tell me oh Luis, you're the rich man you're the rich man start seeing the rich man and start working for it because i'm working right now and you're at the beach are you making money there are you are you doing something are you working because if you are okay that's good but i'm working i'm working so show me what you have in your bank account and your investment accounts so i told him i told him that because it's easy to win you just gotta do what you have to do in, at the moment that you have to do it, even if you don't wanna do it. On Sunday, it was, you know, uh, you know, I, probably I was feeling, you know, I want to stay at home. No, I gotta move. I gotta move. So, you know what, guys? Uh, for the future RVPs, future RVPs show up to everything. And future RVPs always bring people, always bring people to their, to your, you know, to your training. You're not, I mean, you're gonna, you're not a, ho um, you're not, um, a guest, you're a host. Don't think that you're uh, um, a guest. You're gonna, you are already a host. So invite people to your training. Invite people, and you know what? In order to go to the next level, you must have your mind there first. You have, I mean, look, I always say this. I've trained my mind and my body will follow. This is an audio that I, that, I, that I listen every single day, and it says that. I've trained my mind and my body will follow. And guys, you know what? We will, you, you, you know, we're focused right now on growing the licenses um, back on you know, adversities. Look. Um, back on, on, that was March. Yeah, March, we had 39 licenses because, you know, in November we left our replacement. And right now on July, we have over 90 licenses already. So, and there's like six licenses that they're not active yet. I mean, permanent licenses. 
So, you know, it's all about um, what Edward said, building a hierarchy. We reached our, um, we, crossed, uh, we went over 100, right now we're 121,000 or something like that on May. So guys, um, this is the presentation. This is what I wanted to share with you guys today. And just take the decision to go all in. Don't think, don't think that Primerica, that there's a lot of opportunities there. Oh, Luis, you know what? I have so many opportunities. I cannot invest the time right now to Primerica because I have so many opportunities, so many plans on my mind. Hmm, are you working on your plans? You know, you always, you're just saying it. If you already have Primerica, it's for something. God is not going to put you in front of something that you couldn't afford. The limitation, you put your own limitations on it. Primerica, the way you work Primerica and the results that you get and the results that you, know, that you don't get, it's just an, a reflection of who you are. When something, when, when times are hard, people quit. Life has hard times, not only Primerica. The problems that I went through Primerica, I, I said, I knew that it wasn't because of Primerica. Because out of Primerica, life has hard times. So when you have a hard time in your life, not in Primerica, in your life, are you going to quit your life? Ask yourself, you quit Primerica because of something hard. So that means that you're going to quit your life when something hard hits you. When you're about to quit, when you feel tired, ask yourself. So guys, I feel, you know, super blessed. And, I, and it was an honor to share with you guys. You know, I can say a lot of more things right, right now, but I know time is over. So um, Edward, um, thank you guys for everything. And don't change anything. Just keep the system that you already have. Keep doing what you're doing right now. You don't look right now maybe like a hero, but every single day counts. Just every single day. Or people always say, oh, you know what? The Empire and the Burj Khalifa wasn't built in one day. Have you heard of, of that? People always say that, oh, it wasn't built in one day. It wasn't, but every single day they were working on it. So are you working on it? People always say, oh, no, it wasn't built in one day because they want to take more time. Because they go, they go to the beach today and they say, oh, no, it wasn't built in one day. And that's bull. Hmm. That's, it doesn't work like that. You work every single day to get the results that you want. That you want. That's it. So, Edward, I mean, it was an honor, guys. Thank you for everything. And we're back to you, Edward, to the studios. <laughs> Bro, man, I, let me tell you. And I, I don't know if everybody's agree. Louis, we've had million-dollar earners here. We've had SNSDs, man, NSDs, SVPs. In my opinion, this is the best training that we've had since we started the Zoom, okay? So, and we had Miguel on here too, so that's a big statement, okay? <laughs> so let them know. But man, I just want to thank you so much for your time. I think um, today you got us excited. Um, you made us cry, right? <laughs> you, you inspired us. Man, you put light in, in, in our bus, man. So, dude, I just want to thank you so much, brother. Uh, man, let me tell you, bro. I, I, I look up to you, man, because you're 21 years old and you're so focused and Lewis, you are a true example of really any age of how someone can start a business and in a very short time go on to make a six-figure income, man. And, and dude, and, and I'm telling you, bro, you're, you're have the Maserati in no time. You're going to have way better cars than that, right? Uh, and a lot younger than I did, man. So I'm super proud of you. We have some questions for you. Do you have another five minutes? Is that okay? Yes, I'm, um, that's overtime, actually. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. You can build me, okay? <laughs> and, uh, hey, I know Brian, Brian uh, Turner, uh, Brian and Melinda, they had a question for you. They're RVPs, power builder with us as well. So, Brian, do you want to go ahead? And... Lewis, how you doing, man? Unbelievable, unbelievable. First of all, man, how's your mom doing? Um, she's been, you know, rocking it, killing it. She's been killing it? Good, man. Yeah. Because you yeah. really hit home, man, because last year at the convention, man, I was battling cancer, too. Oh, wow. And uh, I had leukemia, and my wife actually went to the convention without me with my team and stuff. And like three months later, after I beat cancer, we got our power builder ring. Wow. So, man, everything that you said that you did, my wife actually did for me, man. So it was just, just like listening to the story all over again, man. So thank you so much, first of all, man, for your, for your testimony, man. Because you know what? That test is your testimony, right? Yeah. And, man, yeah, I'm just amen. proud of you, man. 
congratulations on all your success, man. And Thank keep you. sharing your story, man, because like that really hit home, man. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, man. Thank you. Awesome, man. I I knew uh I knew I was gonna be <clears throat> man. So um have a couple more people. I have uh Brendan and Yane. They're RVPs as well, Lewis. They actually just got promoted uh here less than a year ago. They just went over their power builder watch. And uh, guys, I saw Lewis get his watch and his ring, and he got his ring, I want to say within 120 days of getting his his watch. And I saw it, and it was all through Zoom, all through Zoom. I mean, I remember his role yeah. well. To be honest, he's he's tracking, uh, you know, looks like he's tracking 200,000. He's been making 15, 16,000 a month. So really, you're seeing 100,000 now, but he's been making 15, 16 grand a month for the last six months. So as you can tell, he's not even at 100. He's at 120. And I know for sure, take it to the bank, he'll cross 200 this year. So Brennan and Yunay, do you guys want to go ahead and ask him really quick? What's going on, Lewis, man? Super appreciative, man, of everything that you said. Poured into the team. Love it, bro. And like Edward said, that was, you know, absolutely one of the best trainings that we have ever heard. Um, and you absolutely yeah. And, but uh, we have a lot of people on our team, and I know in the hierarchy that are on a six-month game plan to RVP. Uh, so we just want to kind of want to know, man, a little bit of that conversation that you had with Diana. Um, that was that game plan. What was that magical conversation that you were talking about? You know, kind of what was the focus for her, um, for you guys, or what she told you guys was the focus? Yeah. Well, thank you for the question, um, Brendan. And, and you know what? What we did in that conversation. You know, Diana, she knows how to, how to buy me because we always go to the restaurant when she needs to talk to us. So I like food. I like to eat. You know, I'm kidding, but I like to eat. And then she knows how to buy me. Um, no, Edward. I mean, she's not going to, you know, she's not going to buy you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, you know what, guys? Um, you guys need to, first of all, you guys need to know what you really need in order to go to promote, um, to get promoted to RVP. Don't think about the minimum requirements. Diana never talk about minimum requirements. The minimum requirements are like 20 by 20 or something like that. She always talk about, talk about 40 by 40. Um, cash flow over 35,000. You know, all, all, all of the requirements that we have. Um, so once you know the requirements and what you need to do, what you need to accomplish, do the plan. Okay, if, if uh, right now I'm missing about the production, so start, you know, start recruiting more people and doing the, produ the, the production. Oh, my team, are not, um, my team is not working at all. Okay, get more direct recruits, train them, and you're gonna get the, the, the production. Oh, Luis, you know what? I'm not recruiting a lot of people. Okay, my team is not recruiting a lot of people. Are you recruiting a lot of people? No, right? So if you're not recruiting a lot of people, how do you think that your team is gonna do it? So go yourself, recruit a lot of people, and then go deep. That's it. So, um, that's what we did. The only problems that we, that we had in that moment, Brendan, it was the personal production, you know, because of the, ca the cash flow. Because um, we always said that if, if we don't make money before RVP, how are you going to make money when you go to RVP? You know, it's production. If you don't produce when you are um, on, um, below RVP, how are you going to produce when you are RVP? The title doesn't pay you. It is the work ethic that, that it pays you. Mm. So, you know, you need to focus, you need to, serve, you need to know where you are right now and what you need to do in order to get to the next level. All of the requirements, I, I tell you guys, if you guys are getting, are running for RBP contract, sit down with your RBP, with your um, upline. Oh, oh, wait, if you're doing numbers, don't call your RBP, you're, you did zero by zero last month. Okay, what do I need in order to become an RBP? No, 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 don't, don't do it. Don't do it. If you're running, you know, I'm, I'm already the numbers and you're on track, on the bubble. To get the RBP contract, sit down with them. Okay, what do I have to do? What do I have, what do I need to focus on? Because what you focus on grows. So that's that's what we did, um, Brendan. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate that, man. Again, you absolutely killed it. And on prayers to your mom, man. I know she's probably making a speedy recovery, man. So super excited for everything, yeah. you, man. Just keep killing. Thank it. you, man. Thank you. See you uh, soon. Thank you. Um, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Way to put Venezuela on the map. <laughs> I can't, I couldn't, give me a second. You guys said, great job putting Venezuela on the map. Yeah, we're proud of you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. She's not Venezuelan, by the way, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, I do a couple more questions. So one, so, um, one of our repeats says, look, um, number one, how do you guys license so many people? And number two, how important is licensing so many people? Okay. So how do we license a lot of people? Um, to be honest, we just recruit a lot of people. I mean, you know, we always focus on recruiting and recruiting and recruiting. And, you know, there's always uh, people that, are, um, that they quit. But, I mean, people that, when I do the orientation, 
um, you know, I recruit someone today. Tomorrow we have the orientation. And um, so I say, I told, the, I told the person, hey, you know what? Um, the license, you know, we have um, the review class and the you can pass and everything. I open the you can pass. I show him how to study, how to do everything. And I, and, you know, I, I'm, um, sometimes I put the fingerprints also in that orientation. I say, okay, you know what? Because I need, I need the person to see, I mean, to be committed to me, to the system, to plug it into the system. So, you know, we always focus on, you know, all of the people that we recruit, you know, there's people who quit, but the people who stay, we always, you know, behind the person in order to take the, I mean, to take the test and pass the license. If you fail today, the, the, the test with 60, with 60% or something, okay, you gotta, you have the test on, on, on Wednesday. Oh, no, Luis, no, give me, give me five more days, 10 more days. Mm -mm. The voucher, you know, Primeca sent me a voucher. We gotta use it for Wednesday. We gotta use it this week. You're ready for it. You're ready for it. Go, 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 go. Boom, they pass the test. Because it's not about how long, you know, how long, you know, you, you failed the test today and then don't pretend that you're going to do the test on, in two weeks. You're not going to study in one week and a half. You're going to study two days or one day or the night before the test because I did that in high school. We always did that. I mean, you have a project, you have a, um, an, a project in, in, your, in your high school and then I did it the day before, but sometimes the same day I did it. So that happens the same thing. So we always focus on that and how, I mean, how it's important because, you know, that's the way, that's the way we grow in, in, in Prime America. If you have, if you guys have right now the cure of coronavirus, you and yourself, you're not capable of, you know, of, of giving the cure for everyone. So you need to grow, you need to expand yourself to duplicate yourself in order to, you know, to, to, to give the cure, the cure for everyone. So this is the same thing. If I want to reach more people, I need to have more Louises out, out there out there and i always say that with a with a thousand licenses hmm, you're not gonna have any financial problem with 500 licenses you're not gonna have any financial problems 300 licenses you're not gonna have any financial problems miguel right now he's over a thousand eight hundred he crossed over one million diana she went over 500 licenses she went over four hundred and fifty thousand. um juliana which is one of the rvp she went over three hundred thousand um she hundred she three hundred licenses she went over two hundred and, and, and twenty thousand in income we're getting the 100, 100 licenses again as a, as a RVP. We went over 100, um, 120,000 in income. So we always take the licenses number and we put it, you know, at the same level of the, of, the, of the income. That's what I mean. The more people you have licensed under you, I mean, with you, the more people are out there doing transactions. That's it. That's, that's actually really, really good. I hope you guys took a lot of notes on that um awesome man awesome so uh i think that was it i don't know if um before i close it out i don't know if coach ed ortiz i saw he was pretty excited he was writing i don't know if he wants to get on here for a second and tell you anything or nsd ed and yvonne uh, either of them not sure um uh, well if so just get on uh anytime but man i just want hey i'm here i'm here i'm here i'm here can you hear me yeah. awesome Oh my God, I didn't know you, you're here. Me encantó. Buenísimo, mi hermanito, buenísimo. Wow. O sea, hey, de corazón, oíste. Así es que se hace. Así es que se brega aquí, oíste. Tremendo, <laughs> tremendo. Así mismo, te lo agradezco muchísimo. Thank you, coach. Hey, guys, he Gracias. did a phenomenal job. I'm proud of this young man. I mean, him and his mom. I mean, I've known him for a while, man, and I'm telling you, uh, especially the mom, you know, I get to know their story here and, uh, and man, it's so touching, man. And I'm telling you, I mean, you, you talk from the heart and that's the way it's gotta be. So, Thank and that's you. what Primerica is all about. Primerica is, you know, a lot of folks look at Primerica and say, it's about recruiting. It's about insurance. It's about building a business. No, Primerica is this, this is Primerica. You know, it's a feeling. It's something that you don't, you don't learn. You catch this thing, you catch it. Okay. And this young man have caught it, and I know that everyone on this call is going to catch it too. So I'm so so proud of of uh, Luis what you've done and your mom. Please give her a big old hug on my part. Dile que la queremos muchísimo y que estamos la tenemos corazón. Okay. Gracias. Good, 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 good. Well, hey, listen, guys, just want to cover here real quick goals and all that stuff. Listen, last night we did. I mean, we had a phenomenal, phenomenal close of business. Uh, last night, we ended up with 551 recruits, 551. Rec Our goal was to hit 500. We did 551. So, man, so proud of you guys. Our goal as a hierarchy was to do 300,000, and we ended up with 200, 
and 70,000, okay? So we were sort of about 29,000 or so. That's good, I'm taking it, okay? Those are SNSD numbers. In order to become an SNSD, you need to do 250 by 250 in premium. We did 500, I mean, we did 551. Our goal was, in order to hit it, it's 250, but we did 551. And instead of, uh, and, and on the uh, premium, it's 250, we did, we did 270,000. So guys, hey, proud of all of you. But let me, hey, the month is over, close of business was last night. Here are the new numbers, okay? Here are the new numbers, okay? Because we did 551, our goal now, hey, let's take it over 600, well, let's take it over 661. Let's go 100,000, 100, 100 more recruits, okay? We did 270 in premium. We're going to go for 420, 420. And this is how it's got to break down, okay? So I want you guys looking at this as a team. Aviators, I know we got a boat of aviators on this call, all right? We ended the month with 58 recruits. Our goal this month, we got to go 70, all right? We got to go 70. We finish up with 42,000 in premium. Our goal is to go 60,000 in premium. So our goal for August is gonna be 70 recruits by 60,000. 70 by 60,000, that's for the aviators, okay? We got right team, we got the team from Atlanta. Those guys are killing us. Those guys in Atlanta, they did 30 recruits, that's a right team, Willis and Jay Wright. They did 30 recruits and they did, did 24,000 in premium, okay? From 30. Right team, I need for you guys to go from 40, I mean, correction, from 30 to 40, 30 to 40, and from 24,000, you got to hit 30,000, okay? So your new number for August is 40 recruits by 30,000. That's for the right team. Wealth builders, I mean, hey, wealth builder, my man, wealth builder, you guys did 52 recruits, so proud of you, man. And you did over 18,000. I know you got some CODs and you got all that stuff. You're going over 20,000. Your goal for this month is to go from take it from 52. I need for you guys to take it minimum up to 60, 60 recruits. I need for you to go from 20,000 to 30,000. So your new number is 60 by 30,000. Come on, let's go. Prime time, are you in the house? I don't know if you're in the house, prime time, but talk to me, man. This is what you got. You guys did absolutely phenomenal. You guys did 83 recruits. 83 recruits. I need for you guys to take that up to 100. 100 recruits. You did 42,000 in premium, just right behind the aviators, right behind us by uh, 200 or $300. But you guys did 42,000 in premium. I need for you guys to take it to 60,000. Okay? So your new number is 100 by 60,000. Come on, prime time, let's see what you got. TTLA, TTLA, my man, Brian and Melinda. You guys, phenomenal month, you did 48, broke your, broke your record, 48 recruits. I need for you guys to take it up to 60 recruits. From 48 to 60, you did 21,000 in premium. I need for you guys to take it to 30,000. So your new number is 60 by 30,000, okay? Legacy, legacy, let's see, let's, let's see what you got. Let's see what Legacy's got. They're driving the Maseratis. They're doing all this stuff. They're talking a good game. Come on, talk to me, Legacy. Legacy did, you got to get them credit. Or you got to, hey, did 144 recruits. 140 recruits. You got to give them credit. They also did 62,000. So here's your new numbers, Legacy. Let's see if you can handle this one. I want you to go from 144 to 160. Let's see if you got that. You say you're going to take it up to 200. Let's see if you do that, okay? Uh, so your new number, I need for you guys to take it from 62,000 to 72 to 75,000. I know you're putting some numbers out there and you're going to do 200 by 100. But hey, listen, all I'm asking is 160 by 75,000. Legacy, let's see what you got on that thing. All right? We got BYOB. My man, Brandon and Janae. All right, you guys did 42 recruits, 42. I need for you to take it to 50. Come on, let's see what you got. You did 12,000 in premium. I need for you to double that and take it to 25. So your new number is 50 by 25, 50 by 25, okay? Let's see if you got that. Natasha, I got Natasha Muniz and Little Riley, but not brand new RVPs, 49 recruits, 49 recruits. 
I need for you to take that from 49. Hey, take it up to 50, because I know something's going out there. Take it up to 50. You can do it, all right? You can do this, see? And take your premium. Your premium was at 20, 30,000. And I need for you to, hey, let, give me another 30,000. Give me 30, as a matter of fact, give me 30 by 30. All right, 30 by 30, that's for Natasha. We have Matt Case, Matt and Angelica Case out of Citrus County, way up there, up on the north side. You guys did 20 recruits and you also did 10,000 in premium. I need for you guys to take it to 25 recruits and 25,000 in premium. Can you do that, Matt? Come on, let's do it. And then we got Double Diamond J Jasmine Hat, brand new RVP. She did 21 recruits. 21 recruits, I need for you to take it to 25. Come on, you can do that. You did 12,000, almost 13,000 in premium. Let's see you double it to another 25. So your new numbers, uh, Jasmine, is 25 by 25. Guys, if we do this, we'll end up the month with over 600 recruits. We'll end up with over 420. Here's the deal. Any of the RVPs who hit their numbers, they get a pack. All right? If you hit a, if you hit a pack. If we, the whole team, hit our numbers, Everybody gets a pack. All the RVPs get a pack. Uh, RVPs, you handle what you got to do with your base off. But those are the numbers, guys. We're going to track this thing on a daily basis. Let's see if this thing grow. Let's go ahead. Uh, we need to produce RVP. Next RVP on deck is uh, is got Joe and Madeline had a phenomenal month. All right, they're the next one on 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 deck, and we got someone in the dugout already swinging the bag and getting ready. Come on, let's go. Let's get this thing rocking, okay? But guys, that's what I got right here. Man, I'm so excited for what we did last night. I, um, I think we lost. I think we lost some guys. But hey, uh, really, really quick, guys. If everybody can just uh, unmute your microphone and just give Lewis a big round of applause. And Lewis, man, that was awesome, bro. Way to go! Great job, Lewis. Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I just got caught up, but you know me. I'm always got the backup. I got the iPad. I'm coming the iPad. Okay. But listen, guys, here's the deal. All right. Appreciate you. Phenomenal month. We got to do it again. I need to see everyone on this team. Here's here's the deal, guys. Everyone on this team, you need to be focusing minimum qualify yourself let's get three a month of august every single one on the call needs to do three recruits we need to build a business three recruits and i want you to do three thousand in premium if you do three recruits three thousand in premium your business is going to grow you're going to start making money and then the compounding will start happening there so let's stay focused on this thing man let's get this thing rocking let's get it going okay so really proud of you guys so right now man it's what time is it it's about that time. all right i'm way past two all right, guys. Hey, listen, uh, let's unmute everyone here and let's call it out, man. Let's go to work because we got some goals and we got to hit these uh, these numbers here, okay? So because am I all, if everyone unmuted? Yes, sir. Let's go. go. All right, everybody's on mute. Let's go. Let's go, go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Woo. Aviators 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 Aviators